Okay, in this video, we're showing how to set up the job origin uh, G54 on uh, automatic tool changing machine, which uh, uses a Syntec controller. This is your Syntec controller. It has all the major uh, functions and buttons on the screen. So you have your uh, buttons that run the job. You can start the cycle, stop the cycle, uh, override the speed of the cycle. You can do single block and uh, you can basically do single block and you can do MPG simulation. Um, so all this stuff that run your job are on this side and in, in the middle we have uh, you know mist, we have spindle turn on, turn off and spindle speed control. And on this side we have all the jogging uh, functions so you can have incremental jog, full jog, home the machine and these are your XYZ directions. Uh, these buttons has to be set up. Right now our F1 basically uh, turns the dust shoe on and off. And here are your key keypad for you know modifying a G-code command. And this is the main uh, main screen on the Syntec controller which has uh, most of the stuff that the operator would need. It has all your uh, job coordinate and feed rate and the speed and the bottom which I don't know if you can see it there are all the uh, sub menus so you can set your work coordinate and everything else here <clears throat> so right now I want to set my job coordinate to be on this corner of the machine it doesn't have the automatic so this machine doesn't have all the automatic uh, Z sensor or tool sensor so I have to manually set all of them, set the job coordinates, set the Z height, and basically run the job. So to start the job, to bring it to the corner of the machine, uh, this is where my G54 is gonna be. I first jog my axes as close as possible to the corner. So let's say close to here and then the rest of it I set my MPG which is the handheld. I set the control to the MPG and bring my V axis down. So right now I have the left corner of the table set as my G54. So now the machine basically has these coordinates that show the coordinate of that position. And all I have to do in order to set this as my G54, at the bottom menu, you go to position and workpiece coordinates. And when I'm at the workpiece coordinate, um, I basically want my G54 to have the values of uh, the current position. So I go to G54, I select X, I do a coordinate latch. It says, do you want a latch coordinate? Yes. So right now, the current coordinate of the machine is latched onto the G54. I do this for X and Y. And for the Z axis, basically I have to manually input it. Um, of how far off the table is my material. So let's say if my material is half inch thick on top of the table, then I can either uh, set it by millimeter or by um, inches. So, so yeah, if my 
worksheet is 300 millimeter right now, which is what I have. So I just set it as 300, and that's going to be 300 millimeter on top of the uh, Z height. So that's just how we set up the G54 cord with.